I swear to God, the hardest part about filming is trying to set up the fucking camera, the fucking angle. Like, anyways, welcome back, bitches. I just got done watching Armand roast the fuck out of Tasha Gay. Um, that was top tier. <laughs> That was lit as fuck. Like, I was dying laughing. That was the best roast ever. As you can tell, my voice is gone. Please excuse me. Um, My birthday just passed. So, anyways. I have watched another video online about Armand on his Twitter spaces. Let me tell you. Armand. Twitter spaces is going to fuck you up. Like, please get off of Twitter. The Twitter spaces, like, stop. Get off of that shit because it's not a good look. Like, you low-key crashing out on Twitter spaces. But anyways, he his most recent live on Twitter he was talking about um the JT documentary which was good as fuck I have to say that shit was good um the documentary with that JT uploaded on YouTube City Cinderella that was really good um he had a little cameo in the beginning what I don't understand is, Armand, you have had bigger cameos with the whole Tory Lane situation, Megan Thee Stallion, and it was it was something else. He was featured in like an HBO. It was several clips that Armand has been in, like on TV and shit. I don't know how to explain that, but this was just like a little, it was just like a little snippet, you know what I mean? But it does show everybody in the world that Armand is on a mainstream level. Celebrities are watching him. They do give a fuck about his opinion. And yeah, like that's a big thing that celebrities give a fuck about what you're saying, your opinion, like. You constantly getting on the City Girls motivated JT to go hard and become the City Cinderella that she is. So, I feel like Armand is very influential and in, especially with female rap. Like, they listen to him. You know what I mean? So, if that's not influence, I don't know what is. But... He was, the, the name of the space was, I'm confused, like child, or like, sh should I be confused, or I don't know. Like, what is there to be confused about? But when I was listening, he was saying that he is really grateful, like, he doesn't take it as shade. He feels like he his commentary was a part of JT's journey. Every time JT got upset or felt defeated, you know, Armand was one of the voices in the back of her head, motivating her. You know what I mean? That that's what I got from it. And obviously he did too. Cause he started popping his shit, talking about, I see why everybody's mad, I see why everybody wants to be me. I see why everybody's jealous. And he was like, I'm a celebrity, bitch. Which he is. <laughs> I, I'll say you're an influencer. You are a... Um, you're a public figure. You know what I mean? So, um... Definitely famous. I'll say that Armand is famous. But he was saying that I want to do my motivational shit, but then it's stuff like this that comes out and reconfirms 
and just pulls me back in to this gossip space. He was like, shit like this. He was like, little wins like this makes me second guess leaving the commentary space. You know what I mean? And that does happen. Like last time he deleted his videos, it's like, that's the shit that be getting you these wins. I, I, you know, but I understand if it's causing you a lot of drama in your life, then I understand because everything that glitters is not gold. You be praying that you get to a certain place or you get this certain job and you get to the job and it's miserable the way you left. Like you get to a point where it's like, you know what? Fuck the money. Like, I don't even give a fuck about this extra money or whatever because it's not worth my peace of mind. You know what I mean? It gets like that. But then, just like Cardi B. Cardi B gets horny off the fact that she is still at the top and has not dropped no music, no album, no nothing. She gets so she gets off from that shit. Like, she literally gets wet from that. I'm gonna get on that bitch soon. But, um, he was like, shit like this just makes me second guess leaving. And I, I, I mean, is that called selling your soul? You know, you're doing something that is bothering your soul and you don't want to do it when you're not happy doing it. But um, this is how I personally feel. I feel like Armand genuinely likes what he's doing. He likes to kiki. He likes to gossip about the shit. You know, if you're not gossiping about celebrities, you're gossiping about a motherfucker in your personal life or at work, whatever the case might be, we all do it. You just so happen to press record and you just so happen to be relatable and funny. So um, I know you enjoy what you're doing, but you just gotta learn how to clean it up on the back end when it comes down to the relationships that you want and don't want. Like, I feel like you just have to learn patience. Like you be so excited or be trying to give somebody the benefit of the doubt that like later on you be like, you know, I really don't even fuck with bitches like her. Like, you know, but Lago Grams is popping on YouTube doesn't mean you gotta be friends with the bitch. You know what I mean? Just stop making friends. Like, <laughs> I really feel like Armand should get with Funky and learn from Funky because he does really well with um, doing his commentary. And, you know, he... He does get into a few little back and forths, but for the most part, he he's learned how to balance the two pretty well. So I wish Armand and Funky would like get together. I don't know. I I, I gotta find out what Funky's zodiac sign is, cause. Gemini's are very hard to like break. Like nobody's trying to humble you, but you gotta be willing to learn as well. You know what I mean? So keep going with your motivational videos, Armand. I don't know which direction he's gonna go. You know, and that's such a typical Gemini. They're very like, too, very back and forth, very indecisive as fuck. Who the fuck is calling me?
I don't know who that is. I'm recording. People always call when I'm recording. I'm so tired of that shit. Anyways, I just feel like, is our mind going to keep doing motivational? I don't know. I don't know anymore. We'll see. We'll just have to see. Anyways, Cardi B getting pregnant for the third time by Offset. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're married. You know what I mean? They are married. I just feel like Cardi B cares more about having a family and having her kids young, like most Hispanic women do. But I just feel like she cares more about that than anything else. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. A, a lot of um, female artists are doing that nowadays. Halle Bailey, Sexy Red, Sukiana, you know, but it's like, Cardi B is still young. She's not even 30. What is she like, 28? She just turned 28? She's still young. And she's on to her third child. And I mean, in her mind, it's like, what better time than to do it while I'm young? I have all this money. I have the means to do it. You know what I mean? I understand that a hundred percent. I really do. But um, it's the man. It's offset. Like, I just want to ask y'all Hispanic women this. Us black women, we are we tell the world that this nigga ain't shit. So and so left me while I was pregnant. So and so cheated on me. But then you Hispanic women go out and get the same nigga thinking he's gonna do you different like why do y'all do that like I don't understand that and then we know he's doing y'all the same because it don't matter who you are that's a nigga for you and it's like, Cardi B, I know she be crying her eyes out and shit and stressed out over this man, but she still puts up with it. Like, I don't understand that. Like, but then she be trying to come to the public like we don't know. Or like, it's this big happy home and it's not. It's not a big happy home. Cardi B is sad. She has low self-esteem. She knows she's the shit. I'm about to say, I hate when lipstick get on my teeth. She knows she's the shit, but offset cheating on these straggler ass hoes makes her feel like she's not the shit. You know what I mean? Any bitch would feel that way. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what bitch you are. They be the baddest bitch. Cardi B. Cardi B's the baddest bitch and she still gets cheated on. But it's just... I don't know. It's just like... You think a third baby is going to like... I really feel like she she's having the kids for herself. I don't know, girl. I don't know. Let's go to the next dumb bitch. Gypsy Rose. Now, 
Gypsy Rose is the girl that's famous for killing her mother. Her mother um, had Munchausen by proxy. It's a mental health condition. Um, she was pretending like her daughter had cancer and all these illnesses. And I really feel like her mother had um, a drug addiction problem, making this child go through all these surgeries so she can get the pain meds and making her seem like she's autistic, so ADHD so she can get the Adderall and the benzos, shit like that. The lady was psycho. She lived in La La Land. She got over on people's emotions and charities, all that shit, okay? Gypsy Rose got out. She necessarily didn't kill her mom. She had another little retarded boy who she called her boyfriend, who she met online, kill her mom. So that's why she got out, because she didn't physically kill her mom. She talked someone into killing her mom. But they got sympathy on the bitch because of everything her mom was doing to her. Okay? Anyways, I already talked about the bitch on my channel before. So she's something else. Ever since she got out, she has just been hot as hell. And I understand that you haven't been able to be around men ever in your life but you got your daddy wanting to be in your life and you just keep pushing him away to to chase dick so you can't say that oh i have daddy problems i never had my daddy in my life your dad is begging you to spend time with him and you keep chasing dick getting plastic surgery. She done dyed her hair blonde. Girl, you need to get on Wagovi or Ozempic or some shit because you're huge as fuck. I know Ken don't want no big bitch. He like blondes, but he don't like albino whales, bitch. I mean, let's just keep it a buck. So... She got a nose job, and Ryan, not going to lie, I think he's a lot older than her, Ryan is. He does act like an old man, very stuck in his ways. And I was watching, you know, their little reality show, and they're just not a good match. And the fact that Gypsy called him a rebound on national television... I would be going live talking shit too. I mean, Ryan is hurt. He's big. I know he don't get loving like that. You know what I mean? But you can tell, and I said this in my last video, that Ryan did have ulterior motives. And He, he wanted to control Gypsy. He really did. You could tell. You could tell. But that's how Louisiana men are. You know, those down south. He has that accent. So I, he may not be from Louisiana. But that motherfucker got a down south accent. So he does believe in, you know, being the leader of his household. So does... Her dad, her dad, I could tell, is very, you know, masculine, very masculine. And um, I don't think Gypsy can pull that, oh, don't yell at me, you know, PTSD trauma from my mom with her dad. You could tell the dad just wants to, like, shake her ass, snap her out of it. You know what I mean? 
because he don't want to say it on TV that she's dick crazy. But Gypsy Rose is dick crazy. Yeah. And she acts like she wants all this motherfucking love. She's a player. She's a player and she's not a good person. Just because you feel your heart wants what the heart wants, you're moving like a hoe. Getting tatted up, smoking cigarettes. You want to be like Britain. You want to be fast. We all watched the documentary. You were pulling your sleeves down in your little Cinderella dress. You want it to be fast, which there's nothing wrong with being a woman, but you are just everywhere with it, just slinging pussy left and right. And I know you was because you're pregnant. That's how you get pregnant, you sling pussy. I mean, you just got out of prison, not even... Has it been six months? I don't know. The bitch got out this this year. I don't even think it's been six months. Or we're, we're just hitting the six month mark. But she just said she felt like she was rushing with Ryan, the big boy. She felt like she was rushing with him. He's a rebound. She divorced him everything. He even got a dog for this bitch. The dog didn't like her. And the dog is a, is a girl. I think it was a girl. Yeah. The dog didn't like the bitch. That tells me everything I need to know. You spending every day with that motherfucking dog. And the dog don't like you. Yeah, you was being nasty to that bitch. Remember, you got your mama jeans too. So I know I know Gypsy got some nasty ways and she was being nasty to that dog because Gypsy thinks it's all about her. She was on TikTok um, taking people's pages down for being victims by their parents who had mom Chowson by proxy. Their parents did the same thing to them. She feels like she's the only bitch that can advocate for this shit. You know, she's a very nasty bitch. If animals don't like you, some, your spirit is off. You know what I mean? And um, <sighs> Gypsy Rose is a character, man. I mean, you, you're in the middle of a divorce. Gypsy Rose is not even divorced all the way. And she's pregnant. And I think Ken is, excuse me, I'm sorry. Ken, Ken is younger than Gypsy Rose. Okay. So you got this man in his late 20s trying to settle down with you. Ryan and Gypsy Rose, they're both in the same age bracket. It's Ken, her, the one who she's pregnant by. He is younger than Gypsy Rose. Oh, Lord Jesus. And it wasn't until Gypsy got this reality show that Ken wanted to come back in her life. I mean, he wasn't even trying to, he didn't even do the time with you. I mean, he did most of the time with you. I think he did like five years with the bitch. And then she did the last two to three years with Ryan. But um, still, bitch. Mm -mm. Um, who else is pregnant? Bad baby. That dumbass bitch. Um, Ella May is pregnant, the R&B singer. Her man is a Boston 
Celtics basketball player. I don't know shit about sports, so excuse me. I had to think about that shit. Um, the Taylor girls are pregnant. They're like YouTubers. Um, you know, Armand and Trey, those YouTubers, they're pregnant. Coco, and I don't know who the baby daddy is with the Taylor girls. The, the thicker girl with one of the Taylor girls, I think this is her second pregnancy. And then the, the younger one, her younger sister, I think that that's her first pregnancy. I didn't see the baby daddies. They're not showing the baby daddies. So, whatever. Um, bad baby, her dumb ass is pregnant by somebody way older than her. And he be whooping on her, beating her ass. I think he's black. Yeah, another dumb bitch. Coco in Memphis. Um, dumb bitch. Another dumb bitch. She's some TikTok thought. Memphis is some washed up YouTube creator. I love Memphis. Yeah, he he was out back like with the hit the Quan and Rich Homie Quan. Yeah. Like, that washed up. So, we know how long ago that was. That was like, what, 10, 10 years ago? Yeah. So, and Coco was like way younger than him. I think she's like 21, 22. That's a dumb bitch. Kayla and one of the island boys. I don't know if you know, but the two white guys they're like tiktok famous two white twins they're from fort lauderdale florida they were kissing each other they have a dumb bitch in kayla little white trash little girl she's pregnant and she's she was so damn desperate to get pregnant the her baby daddy one of the island boys the little cracker boys he already has a baby mama named Toxic. And Kayla, the bitch that's pregnant now, befriended his baby mama just to get close to him. Like, they were in a poly relationship at one point because he was still stuck on Toxic, the first baby mama. And Kayla was just, like, obsessed Toxic didn't give a fuck. She didn't care. But Kayla and Toxic don't talk no more now that she didn't put voodoo on the boy. Because he was not jacking her. Like, he was not fucking with her. On live, he was telling her, like, move on. You know, I don't make you happy, so why don't you just move on type shit. That's embarrassing. Um... But if Kayla likes it, I love it. She acts like she can't live without this man. Like she crashes out over him. And the fans know it too. And she falls for it every single time. And she got a daddy in her life. So that's not an excuse. But she's just dumb. Um, e. Kane is pregnant by the same crusty ass nigga, Chris. I think this is like her fourth or fifth child. Um, e. Kane does not brush her teeth. She does not brush or scrub her body behind her neck and between her legs. She does not get her toes done. She's very nasty looking. And, uh, She thinks she's the shit. She has no body. She looks like a little salamander flopping around on live. She never gets cute. When she does get cute, she don't know how to stay looking cute longer than 30 minutes. And Ikein just looks like she don't brush her teeth. Like, she just looks like she wakes up, gets on live, 
pats her weave, itch, and digs in her ass. And she just has cold in her eyes. And I think that's why she don't get her lashes done no more. Nobody want to do her lashes and become a liability because she don't ever clean her fucking lashes. She's nasty, crusty, filthy. She's not a lady. And I don't even think she brushes her own fucking kids' teeth. I mean, if you don't brush your own teeth, how the fuck are you going to brush your kids' teeth, bitch? And, yeah, I, I don't watch people like that. I don't relate to people like that. And, yeah. Egain is a fucking disgusting person. She has the potential to be pretty, but she she takes that away. I mean, she's not that fucking cute. She must think she is because of all the views and shit, but um, she's not cute at all. You can tell all she does is lay around and play with her pussy. She don't got no type of muscle in her legs, in her stomach, in her ass, in her titties, in her arms, in her back. All she does is lay the fuck down on her back and play with her fucking cat. He came. That's a nasty bitch. That's all I got, y'all. Fuck with me.